Good morning and welcome everyone to your daily dose new spiritual vitamin with me, Bonnie B. For today, the Spirit of God gave me something a little bit different He wants me to do today. Today, the Lord said, let's talk about the watchers. The watchers. I think He wants to talk about the watchers because they've been in the news quite a bit as far as certain documentaries and things as far as people's beliefs. Excuse me. People's beliefs and aliens and all of this kind of thing. Uh, so let's get a little knowledge about a little background on this thing. So, okay. Let's get a little background. So, today, for the sake of our scripture text, this Sunday morning, bright and early, we're going into the book of Enoch, Jubilees, and Jasher. But we're not going into the book of Enoch. One of the Book of Jubilees. Book of Jubilees. Tenth chapter. Check out this story. Before we get into the story of the Watchers, let's go before the throne of grace. Ask God to help us. As we learn more about the Watchers. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for an opportunity to come before the throne of grace and learn new things and more things. Father God, we thank you for enlightening our path and opening our minds into who you are. Father God, we thank you because we know the truth of who you are and that we have the ability to follow your word, your scripture, and what you say about our lives. Father God, we ask that you continue to lead and point and direct us down those things which are holy and ordained of you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Let's get ready to get this one in. This is a good one. Check this out. Chapter 10, Book of Jubilees. From the books of Enoch, Jubilees, and Jashers. Translated by Derek... Shaver and what else I'm going to let you know. Yeah. Translated by Derek A. Shaver. Okay. Here we go. Chapter 10. And in the third week of this jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children and the, the children of the sons of Noah to make them heir and destroy them. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father, and they told him concerning the demons which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his son's sons. And he prayed before the Lord his God and said, God of the spirits of all flesh, who has shown mercy unto me, and has saved me and my sons from the waters of the flood, and has not caused me to perish, as thou didst the sons of perdition. For thy grace has been great towards me, and great hath thy mercies to my soul. Let thy grace be lifted up upon my sons, and let not wicked spirits rule over them, lest they should destroy from the earth. But do thou bless me and my sons, that we may increase and multiply and replenish the earth. And thou knowest how thy watchers, the fathers of these spirits, acted in my day. And as for these spirits which are living, imprison them, and hold them fast in the place of condemnation. And let them not bring destruction on the sons of thy servant. My God, for these are malignant 
and created in order to destroy. And let them not rule over the spirits of the living. For thou alone canst exercise dominion over them. And let them not have power over the sons of the righteous from henceforth and forevermore. And the Lord our God bade us to bind all. And the chief of the spirits, Mastima, came and said, Lord, Creator, let some of them remain before me. Let them hearken to my voice and do all that I shall say unto them. For if some of them are not left to me, I shall not be able to execute the power of my will on the sons of men. For these are for corruption and leading astray before my judgment. For great is the wickedness of the sons of men. And he said, Let the tenth part of them remain before him, and let nine parts descend into the place of condemnation. And one of us, he commanded, that we should teach Noah all their medicines, for he knew they would not walk in the uprightness, nor strive in righteousness. And we did according to all his words, and all the malignant evil ones were bound in the place of condemnation, and a tenth part of them left that they might be subject before Satan on earth. Mastema and Satan were the same person. Mastema went before God and asked God if he could keep one tenth of those demons on the earth in the planet under Satan's rule God allowed Satan one tenth of his angels and the rest of them he put in jail because Satan said, how can he get man if you take all the evil out the earth? He says, and we did according to his words, God's words. <clears throat> all the malignant evil ones were bound in the place of condemnation. The place of condemnation is hell. And a tenth part of them we left that they might be subject before Satan on earth. And we explained to Noah all the medicines. Of their diseases. Together. With their seductions. How he might heal them with herbs of the earth. And Noah wrote down all things in a book. As we, the watchers, instructed him concerning every 
kind of medicine. Thus, the evil spirits were precluded from hurting the sons of Noah. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. They could not touch him. And Noah slept with his fathers. See, when Noah gave that prayer, God covered them. Now the generations after that, God knew they were going to be wicked. Satan knew it too. And that's why he went before the throne of grace and asked God for permission to continue to be on the earth. Satan knew. It's always known he's only had a season. He's always known. That's how come he has no power. And when you understand the scripture text, see why? He has no power. Because he has no power. Okay? He ain't got no power. Mastima, Mastima and Satan are the same person. Mastima and Satan, Lucifer, all the same person. And he doesn't have any power except that you give him because God has a covenant agreement with Noah that we the righteous forevermore cannot be touched that's why Satan torments the non-believer check that shit out so I'm going to close off your scripture text right here because that was so much fun. I like that scripture right there. That was cool. I like that. I like that a lot. He ain't got no power. This is why he ain't got no power. This is why. My team ain't got no power. He says that Noah slept. And in his life on earth, he excelled the children of men Save Enoch because of the righteousness wherein he was perfect. For Enoch's office was ordained for a testimony to the generations of the world so that he should recount all the deeds of the generations unto generations till the day of judgment. That's why we come back to Enoch. Because he's the one that's going to testify. Metatron over every archangel. He's also the same one that the watchers went to to go before God to ask for pardoning on their behalf. What that tell you? See, I know my power. I know by whom I'm called. I know who I represent. I know who represents me. I'm good with this thing. This thing is wonderful to me. Okay? I love it. Because I know he has no power. I understand. I hope that you all enjoyed this scripture tag from the book of Jubilees. Because it made me happy. Okay. To see how that whole thing went down. To hear the prayer that went forth. Y'all need to rewind this and listen to that again. Okay. But my beloved, you all be blessed. All of my believers, this is to encourage you guys. We got the victory, don't y'all know? We already won. He had to go before our Creator and get permission to even be here. Y'all ain't getting that, but you will. You guys stay blessed. That is our scripture text for this Sunday morning. Here on your daily dose of Bonnie B. 
from the book of Jubilees, 10th chapter. Scripture text 1. Well, we read all the way down to. Scripture texts 1 through 11. No, 1 through 14. Yeah. Scripture texts 1 through 14. Chapter 10. Book of Enoch, Jubilees, and Jasher. This came out of the Book of Jubilees. Scripture texts. The prayer of Noah for the sons of Shem. Ham, and no. The prayer of Noah for his sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Protection prayer that Noah sent forth for his own sons because the watchers were back. So, guys, <clears throat> you stay blessed. Till it's time for the next daily dose of spiritual vitamin with me, Bonnie B. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the context, check subscribe and like. Come on back and get another vitamin. Until then, stay blessed and remember, eat, meditate.